So a steady forward in C++ 11 is going to be killer if you know how to use it. So I'll give you a scenario here. Let's say you have uh, a function, okay? This is sending maybe some value V and it is sending to this guy. This guy is sending to this function and this function is sending to this function. And finally, we are going to use it here. So this V has to come from all the way to this function, okay? So this is the final function. Now the point is, this object or whatever value you are sending, it can be L value, it can be R value, it can be having properties like constantness or volatileness and all that. And we want to retain all those properties. So that's why this forward exists. And it is a template function. We can see that it takes a type here. Okay. So the goal is clear. We want to send this guy to the end receiver via many functions and the properties of this function should not change. I mean, you should not have, I mean, for simple, uh, this thing, you can understand that you should not make any copies. You should just simply send this as it is. And then this is the function we'll use here. So I'll give you an example. So this is a very simple example. We have one integer X is equal to five. We have a wrapper where we will send L value, which is X. We have a variable. So it is an L value and a constant, like this is an R value. If I have not given any video for L value, R value, I'll give you that. So just consider this is L value and this is R value. So how you are sending this X or value to this wrapper function, it should forward as it is. It should not make any copy or do any modification to the properties of the function. I mean, properties of the object, what you are passing to. So X will end up calling this inner function. Whereas this wrapper, this guy should call this inner function. So let me just compile this. And if we'll run this answer is five and 50. So see, this is the forwarder. You are forwarding this to this. Now it has to forward this argument, what it received either X or 50 as it is. I mean, it should not modify this. So this is the beauty. And there is a topic called perfect forwarding. This is used in that. I will give you next video about perfect forwarding where we'll see what is perfect forwarding, which is kind of similar to this, but I will have many points and little more theory to explain like why it is more important. So for this video, I'll keep it this much. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye bye. Take care.